right hand behind you. Inhale, arm, reach out. You're gonna take your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, reach up through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, look forward, exhale, release. Right hand, left knee, left hand behind us. Inhale, exhale, twist. Let's inhale, look forward, exhale, release. Hands on the knees, let's lean back. And we're gonna come into a little bit of core stuff right now. Grabbing onto the backs of your thighs, you're gonna roll your shoulders back and lift the soles of your feet off the mat. You're bringing your shins so that they're parallel here into a modified version of Navasana. Bow pose. We're gonna cross our ankles, place our feet below us, hands on either side of our bums, and just lift your butt up. Engaging your core here. Exhale, lean back. This time, lift the legs up and, this, and stretch the arms alongside. Try to stretch your neck nice and long. Cross, hands on either side, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. And this time grabbing onto either side and stretching the legs maybe all the way up. a good yawn at any time in your practice is a good thing so bringing the feet underneath you hands on either side and try to think nipples over knees lifting up exhale release and last one stretching the legs maybe bent or wherever feels comfortable and without any arms maybe we can reach the hands up let's get into some more core stuff now that we've done some boat pose we're gonna move our fingertips about six inches behind us. Place the soles of our feet on the mat. We're gonna lift, first lift up into tabletop. You can release your head back if it feels comfortable. And you can go from here and walk your feet all the way out. Exhale, lower down. And move our bums forward, coming onto our forearms. We're gonna bring our knees towards our chest, crossing at the ankles, we're gonna exhale for one, two, three, four, five, get lower, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and let's switch ankles, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So uncross our ankles, coming down to our forearms, stretching both of our legs up. We're going to exhale, lower the left foot down, and then the right. And switch and both legs down and then let's crisscross them up and back down okay great okay, so let's come on to our hands and our knees so wrists are underneath our shoulders knees are underneath our hips we're going to inhale arch the back look up exhale round Inhale, arch, and exhale. Okay, so I'm just moving slightly forward so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna stretch the left leg out behind us and the right hand out in front of us. Lift the core up. Bring your elbow to your knee and out again. And release. Next side, stretching out the right leg. 
and the left hand reaches in front of us and breathe here. And knee to elbow and stretch out. All right, releasing the hands down, knees back down. We're gonna press into the tips of our toes and lift the knees up off the mat. We're good. So again, coming back to this neutral position, spine is neutral, we're looking down, pressing the tops of our feet into the mat, we're gonna lift the knees up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, look up, brush the back. And again, round, pressing into the tops of our toes, lift the knees up. And lower down, turn the toes under, walk the hands slightly forward, and let's come into downward dog. So our first downward dog is always a flexible one, it's always a moving one. We're bending our knees, alternating from side to side. And then exhale, releasing the heels towards the ground. We're really trying to push the mat as far away from us as possible, which is lowering our chest towards the mat. We're gonna come forward into plank, lower down, inhaling into upward dog, and exhaling into downward dog. Breathing here. All right, we're gonna stretch the right leg up, bending at the right knee, and drawing the right knee in towards the chest. Let's come and rest on the outside of the right thigh, pressing into the tips of our fingers. Let's look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up. Slide the right hand forward. Let's reach back, bending the left knee. And we can stay right here, or you can reach the right hand in front of you. And breathe here. Exhale, lower down, and release the left leg, pressing into the left toes. Stepping back into downward dog. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Bend at the left knee. And let's draw the leg in towards the chest and reach back. So, just myself a little bit here. The hands are underneath my shoulders. I roll the shoulders back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, exhale, bend the knee. Each side is different, so really don't compare one side to the other. What you're looking for is to feel the stretch, and wherever you find that is a good place. And let's exhale, release, and we're gonna roll into a wide leg. So roll your thighs inwards. I feel like that really helps you sit forward and get a more grounded kind of grip on the mat. You're gonna bring your right hand in front of you and your left hand behind you. And we're still working on core. We're working on some of the locks in yoga, like the Mula Bandha locks. So you're really trying to engage your core and lift everything up. 
And so you're really, so you're really trying to engage your core and lift everything up. So you're gonna press into your hands. You're gonna inhale first, deep breath. Exhale everything. And inhale, lift your bum up. So just your bum here and your breathing. Exhale, release. Switch sides, the left hand in the middle, right hand behind us. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, everything. And inhale, lift up. So eventually our feet lift up off the ground when we're doing that, but we're just sort of prepping our body and working on the feeling of engaging our core, engaging our mula bandha, engaging all of our locks through our body so that we're really contained when we do the lift. So let's try the other side, but this time we're gonna try to lift up one leg. So we're gonna try to lift up the left foot with us as we go, all right? So right hand in front of us, left hand behind us, inhale, deep breath, exhale, and inhale. So even if it's just a little lift, that's a good thing. So we're just gonna try for something small. You might even get like a little bit of a Charlie horse. Your thigh might feel really tense after that. So massage it out and let's go to the other side. And so we're gonna massage it out and then go to the other side. So left hand in the center, right hand behind us. Inhale, exhale. And let's inhale, lift. And exhale, release. And come and sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. Palms of your hands together at the crown of your head. Thank you for joining me for this practice. And at your heart, thanking yourself for making it to the mat. Namaste. All right, y'all, I hope you liked it. I hope it was a good class. I'm gonna keep producing as many classes as I can every Thursday. Look out for an upload. <laughs>